Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome to VC Ski Fitness. I'm Vivian Fonseca. And, and I'm Cara Brown. <laughs> perfect. Today, we have one new workout for you for your ski season. Haha. Uh -huh. Cara, explain about what we, go, we do today. So today we have an awesome core workout for you guys. So what on earth is core? Well, core is anything to do with the center of your body. So this part of your body. And you're probably asking yourself, why is this so important for skiing? Because I ski with my legs. Well, you do ski with your legs, but I'm going to tell you guys why core is so important for your skiing. You might remember if you did your very first session with us, I talked a little bit about your skiing position and the muscles we activate in your lower leg. And Vivian gave you guys all those awesome exercises for ankles, knees, and hips. And I mentioned a really key point that a balanced skiing position means your shin angle is the same as your spine angle. So what does that mean? The angle of your lower legs is the same as the angle of your back. In order to do this, what do you need to do? How do you maintain that good spine angle? Well, you actually, even if you're not realizing it, you are using your core muscles. So you're using your stomach muscles to maintain that good spine. If you breathe out in this position, you go. Your stomach will relax. And see what happened to my back? It curls over. And suddenly my spine and shin are not the same. So today, Vivian is going to take you guys through some really good exercises in order to get your stomach to activate. And so you can keep that spine and shin angle perfect when you're skiing. Okay, Vivian. Okay, so let's do it. Everybody's ready? Okay, before I start, just if you wanted to use uh, trainers, uh, it's up to you. Uh, I'm wearing mine, but if you wanted to be, uh, be uh, stay barefoot, it's fine as well, okay? I just need everybody just grab a quick mat or a towel because we have to do exercise on the floor. Okay, so let's start. Let's go for some quick uh, warm up. And after that, let's go for action. Ready? So let's start to just step side to side. Lift your, leg, your hands up and down. Lift your arms up and down and up and down. Now move your knees side to side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now rotate your trunk. Move your shoulders side to side. Breathe in, breathe out. Your hips stay in the middle. Don't rotate your hips, just your trunk. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Extend your arms on the top in diagonal cross. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, rotate your shoulders back and forward. Big stretch in the middle. Go one side, stop. Other side, stop. In the middle, roll your shoulders back and down and ready. Okay. So as uh, Cara was explained to you, Cara was uh, explained to you what you have to do here. Cara, no Cara. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so let's go back here so what you have to do we are talking about core exercises right so the most important thing about core exercise is your core muscles your muscles this area like Kara was telling you explain to you so basically in biomechanic this we have a, a like a big muscle that really helps to protect your spine and keep this part here stay stay still for you to move everything with more stability what is your transverse is a big muscle in like internal muscle who cover everything here to keep the pressure inside your spine Perfect for you not injure your spine and keep your movement uh, better in better position and better stabilized. Okay, so the first exercise we have to do is 
push your hips back, suck your joint in, and suck your navel in, your navel in. How? Not just suck, you have to breathe out and like hold your pee. When you do this, when you hold your pee, what happened here? You increase the pressure inside your trunk, we stabilize all your organs, everything, and your spine keeps straight and strong for you to do your movement, okay? You don't overcompensate your lower back. So everybody together here, your right leg, you have to lift up and back. I will do it my side for you to understand. Breathe out, up, back. Breathe out, and back. Breathe out, and back. Breathe out and back. Breathe out and back. Easy, easy. Breathe out. One more. Okay. Now I want you to go a little bit higher with your knee, but you can't move. You cannot move your hips. Okay. The same leg a little bit higher. Ready? Go. Breathe out. In. Breathe out. In. I don't want you to see moving your, your hips. Breathe out. Three, breathe out, two, breathe out, one more, breathe out, well done. Let's go for the other side, the same thing. Suck your joint in, keep your, your core engaged, breathe out when you lift your leg up, remember, don't move your hips. Ready? Engage your core, suck it, your, this joint out. in, squat position, and three, and two, and one. This leg, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Now let's go a little bit harder, like higher. Let's go, one. Attention, if somebody's feeling your lower back, it's because you're not activate your core. Suck your navel in, like hold your pee, okay? Keep this pressure, like your inner, uh, inside your muscles, like inside deeply. You have to really suck everything in, like hold your pee. Let's go. And three. And four. And five. Perfect. So let's go for the second exercise. The same way involving all the muscles here, especially your transversals and hips flexor as well, but I wanted the focus here, okay? So again, bend your knees, squat position. Now we have to use upper body, lower body together to create this pressure here, the contraction here, okay? And three, and two, and one, lift your knee up and elbow down. Knee up, elbow down. Try to touch your elbow on your knee. Don't move your posture, breathe out. Again, okay, if you wanna go harder, you have really to lift your knee higher and move just a little bit here, okay? Ready, go. One, and two. Don't move your trunk, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven and eight, and nine, and 10. Well done. Okay, let's try to do the same side a little bit quicker, like one, two, but I don't want you move your hips, okay? Stability. So in squat position, you have to coordinate your breath all together, ready? 10 in one go, just in one, in one uh, sequence, okay? Kara, let's go. Do it, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Other side. Ready? Let's go. One. Now a little bit um, easier. And just move your knee up. Four. Five. Now let's go a little bit higher. Go. One. And two. And three. Position. And four. And five. And six. Breathe. Seven. 
and eight. Nine, 10. Well done. Now let's go faster. 10 and just one sequence. Three, two, one, fast. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Come on. Five, six, seven. Posture. Eight, nine, ten. Well done. So let's go back for the first exercise. Yes, first exercise again. So we are in this position again. Suck your navel in. Posture. Attention. If you drop your shoulders this way, disaster. So all shoulders back and down. Engage your core. Suck your joint in like in this position here. Okay? Stronger. So what do you have to do? Side, side, stepping. It's not this way. It's not this way. You have to connect, to use your core to stabilize your, your body for your ability to use your joint here in your knees. Okay? Ready? And three, and two, side to side. Let's go, stepping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, nine. Don't lift your chest up. Keep there, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Oof. Okay, everybody okay? Are you okay, Kara? Yeah, surviving. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so let's do one more time. Standing, we go to the floor, okay? Citation. Side to side. Right, left. Aha. Uh -huh. Attention if you start to move your body like this way. No, 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 no. You have to stabilize your body. Stabilize your hips, stabilize your shoulders straight. Imagine like a line passing here in the middle of your body, okay? So you have to really keep here, straight, strong, side to side, but you don't move this line. Three, two, one, start this way here. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on. Eight, nine. Engage your core, 10, use your core, 10. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Come on, four, three, two, one. Okay, relax. Well done. Let's go to the floor. I've just pushed my camera a little bit lower. Floor. Okay, the first exercise on the floor. Attention. First, if you're a completely beginner, you have the option to use your wall, okay? I will explain on the wall, and after that, we go to the floor. Otherwise, I have to lay down here and come back there, no. So come here, hands on the wall. Basically, you have to do mountain climbing, okay? When you do mountain climbing on the wall, please don't push your hips this way. You stay straight to strong. This way, uh, sorry, like this way here. You push your hips down. Always totally straight in this position on the wall. Imagine here, just move to the wall. Your body be this way, okay? So on the floor, on the floor, you have to use your, you have to put your hands on the floor, on your toes. You have to go one side, bring closer to your chest, back. Other side, close to your, your chest and back. Attention, if you are intermediate, my advice is do it slowly. If you are like more advanced, you can go a little bit faster, okay? So engage your core, suck your navel in. Every time you move your knee closer to your chest, you have to breathe out. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. If you're advanced, you can go a little bit faster, okay? But the important thing here is don't shake your hips. If you shake your hips, you just break all your stability, okay? So don't shake your hips. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Hold, stay straight and strong. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Relax a little bit. Oof. Let's go for the other <laughs> exercise. After that, we come back for this one, okay? The second one, rotation. Attention, if you are on the floor, my intermediate and uh, advanced, attention here. Hands on the floor, intermediate. You can stay with your knees on the floor and rotate side to side. I prefer you really try to go with your knees off the floor, okay? This is much better. Here, you have to move side to the side, rotating, but attention, all your strength come from this part here. Don't try to push with your hands. Try to use your core to contract and do the rotation. So suck your navel in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out and breathe in, okay? So here, one, two. My beginners on the wall, the same way, side to the side, the side on your toes. Okay, always all of us on our toes. Ready? And three, and two. Legs apart, the same distance as your shoulders. Three, two, one. One. Don't drop your hips down. Two. And three. Legs apart. Four. On your toes. Five. Move your feet together. Six. And seven. And eight. And nine, one more, stay here. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Oof, okay. Could you feel it? Could you feel it, Carla? Yeah, I can feel it. Okay, perfect. So let's go back for the first one. Remember, mountain climbing. Attention, mountain climbing. We have to go a little bit here like a little bit more wider. Attention, a little bit. So how you have to put, put your hands, the position of your hands, Sh your chest, I'll be here for you this time, okay? For you to understand better the position here. Hands the same distance as your shoulders, on your toes, mountain climbing. So push your knee back, push your knee back, push your knee back, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, Breathe out, breathe out. I'll be my side for you. Breathe out and 10. Don't use your hips. Your hips is straight strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Okay, everyone. Let's go for one more rotation, we finish, okay? Our patient here. Now, aha, we have a little bit more challenge for you. If you put your, your feet like closer, okay? You have to really use more your core. If you are apart, use a little bit less your core, okay? So if you're advanced, put your knees, your feet a little bit closer, if you are more beginner, out. If you're completely beginner, back to the wall. Okay? So hands here, legs apart. I put my, my feet a little bit closer. So rotate your hips and move your feet together. Here. Ready? Let's go. One. Rotate. Two. And three. And four. And five and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Stay here, three, two, one, relax. Ooh, attention everyone, it's finished. <laughs> Let's go for our stretching, yes. Okay, stretching time. After that, Carl, you'll be explaining a little bit more about how we can use all these movements, all your exercise, our core strength to have better performance in ski, okay? So relax. Go both hands, one side, attention. 
this exercise we are, uh, I give to you today, you can find in VC Ski Fitness platform. So go there, sign up. You have a lot of exercises to improve your performance. So today was just a little example of what you find in VC Ski Fitness. Inhale and exhale. Okay, so now turn your body, put your, your back on your back, hold your knees, relax your shoulders on the floor, one leg down, hold the other knee, cross over, attention, core exercises, transversal muscle, if you Google it, the transversal muscle, you see is a big muscle, is inside, is deep muscle, full cover, covers all your trunk here, back. So to activate transversus, you have really to use your breathing, your breath together when you are doing the movement. You have to inhale, exhale, and like that little tip I gave to you, like hold your pee because you can have better pressure when you contract to really have more stability. Okay, cross over. Attention, if you don't have a core, a core strength, you don't have protection in your spine. Your core strength is the most important thing to protect your trunk. Okay, everyone. So do it, protect your spine. You see to have your all your life, super healthy joints and spine. Turn over again. I'm telling this to you, because I'm telling this because I'm working in um, rehabilitation for years and years and years. And the most important muscle we always put focus was on our transversals, deep muscles to really protect and create the stability for your movements. Lift your bum up, chest down. All the way up, cross your fingers on the top. Big, big stretching, other side, in the middle, and roll your shoulders back and down, relax. Well done, proud of you. Let's go, Cara, one more tips, one more tip about ski and core strength. Cool, thank you very much, Vivian. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that workout and you felt it working your core. So two things that I want to point out that we did in that workout that are really going to help your skiing. Firstly, like I was talking about at the beginning, that shin and spine angle. Did you notice how many of the core exercises we did in this position? And this is your skiing position. So this is directly related to the position you're going to be in when you're skiing. And that's why the core is important for that. And secondly, the other thing is, did you notice that a huge amount of the exercises required keeping your core still while your legs are moving? Now, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds to me a lot like skiing. You're skiing down the hill, your core is staying in one place, but your legs are moving. And that's another thing that makes core so important to skiing, that separation. So the idea that your upper body and your trunk is doing one thing while your feet are doing the other movement. Now, you might have heard the term separation before. If you haven't, we actually have a whole separation section on VC Ski Fitness. And it's something that can really help your skiing and get you to the next level. So go check it out. We will hopefully see you there. But thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you very much to Alice Brigham for hosting us again. And yes. don't forget our awesome prizes, those free skis, Alice Brigham vouchers, and a VC Ski Fitness package. Um, they're all coming up next week. Yes. Yeah, so I wish all for all of you a happy Sunday. And don't forget, drink water after all your workouts. I mean, all day drink water is very important to keep your body hydrated, right? So yes. if you wanted to give you us some feedbacks, feedback, uh, go to our uh, Instagram, VC Ski Fitness, or our website. We are here for you. Yeah, so, we want to hear from you. <laughs> yes, always. So we, are, we wanted to be the best for you to really improve your, your level, your ski level, your body level. Okay, so have a good Sunday, enjoy it. 
Bye bye, Cara. Miss you very much here in London. <laughs> and soon she'll be on the slopes. <laughs> yeah. See you. Yeah. See you all next Sunday. Thank okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.